Greetings and welcome back to another Let's Play Company of Heroes with yours truly, Lunatic Fringe. Let's party like it's 1945. Uh, just before I get started, I'd like to wish everybody a happy new year. Holy shit, guys, it's 2011. It's the fucking future and we don't have our jetpacks or flying cars yet. Fucking ripoff, eh? And uh, also, Merry, you know, whatever the fuck you celebrated before that. Christmas, Kwanzaa, Hanukkah, if you're an ancient Roman, Saturnalia. Whatever, you know. Uh, we're actually almost halfway through the campaign. Uh, actually, we are halfway through the campaign. Uh, I think there's 15 missions. So we're on St. Fromont, which is uh, has to do with something called Operation Cobra. I don't actually know this much about this. I'm kind of a World War II buff, but I've never heard of this. Far advanced the Nazi war machine had come. Smart as our guys were, we had nothing like this. Okay. The Cherbourg secured. Supreme Allied Command has identified our next priority, the crossroad town of St. Lo. Now the only place we can cross the River Veer is right here. Unfortunately, we have very limited intelligence on this area. Able Company will move in after dawn. Alright. Pretty simple, straightforward. It's not like the Germans are going to attack us with, you know, heavily armored, explosive, uh, remote-controlled cars or anything. That'd just be stupid. Uh, crap. At a loading screen, too. Uh, what to talk about? Um, oh yeah, for Christmas, I, uh, I got a pre-order of Dead Space 2. Uh, I'm really looking forward to that, because Dead Space was actually one of my favorite games of, I think it was 2008? Can't remember. But it was, I just loved that game. I mean, you got a plot by Warren Ellis, and Warren Ellis is just brilliant, if you've ever read any of his comic work, like Transmet or anything like that. Just outstanding stuff, and, uh, I love the, uh, the whole body horror feel of, uh, Dead Space. Like, it reminded me a lot of, like, you know, old John Carpenter movies, like The Thing, and, uh, actually David Cronenberg movies, too, like, if you know who he is, like The Fly and Videodrome and shit like that. Uh, Cronenberg's one of my favorite directors. Of, actually, he's, he's probably my favorite Canadian director, but not my most favorite director. Anyway, let's get started. If I'm talking really fast, my roommate got a fancy coffee machine, and we've been abusing the hell out of it. I call that camera shot they have there the Sam Raimi. If you've ever seen Evil Dead. Oh, it's so cute. Can I pet it? Come on, guys. It's adorable. An adorable little puppy. Uh-oh. Explosive puppy. Not good. The 38th SS Panzer Grenadier has blown the only bridge into St. Tremond. Without it, Division can't push forward. It's Abel's job to get the engineers in there and bring that bridge back into play. Once the bridge is up, it'll have to be protected. This means pushing the 38th back out of St. Tremond. Sounds simple By enough. The it's town, not. We should be able to force the Krauts into a pocket around the town square, here. Then it's just a matter of clearing the square and capturing this strategic point. Yeah, it sounds easy. Not at all. Uh, this is a mission that kind of annoys me, just because the Germans get artillery and you don't. But you get something pretty awesome, too. This is one of the uh, armored special units. It's a uh, Sherman uh, cal uh, Calope, or I I'm not going to... Let's call it a cantaloupe. It's a cantaloupe, yes. A cantaloupe of death. As you can see, it's got like a rocket uh, set up on the back. I'll fire that off later. Uh, what should I do to start off with? Uh, best thing... Let's get this guy up here, just to cover. Um, engineers. No, I have built around here. Just one of these. Okay. Uh, let's get a command post there. Not a command post. Whatever that's called. Weapons support center. That's right. Uh, get these guys up here. Cap the uh, ammo point. Okay. So this is what the rocket barrage does. Oh, that's just. Beautiful. I love that. Oh, done. Rocket to the face. And as I stated in a uh, previous video, the only true way to kill a German is to shoot a rocket at his face. It's science. Look it up. Let's get this tank up a bit more. Alright, construct that. 
I'm just gonna kind of hang back for a bit and Wait, just get my supply depots up, stuff like that. Uh, let's get another rifleman squad up. Uh, machine gun, snipe. Oh, not enough manpower. Heavy cav here. Ammo at the docks, I'll have to cap that too. Yeah, I really hate this because there's some uh, rocket artillery that I think ends up here and I think over here. I can't really remember that well. But, uh, it's not really powerful artillery or anything like that, but it's really annoying because it damages infantry a lot. I'm not going to be too concerned about tanks, so. But I think I'm playing as, uh, no, I'm playing as airborne. I thought I was playing as armored because this is an armored vehicle. But, uh, actually airborne's pretty good too because I'm going to make sure to abuse the hell out of the uh, paratroopers. Right. Um, I don't have enough fuel. Come on, with me. Let's move. Um, tank depot. Just gonna have those guys chill back there for a bit. Uh, observation post up here. It's actually a fairly good munitions point too. And oh man, the fuel point's sweet too. I like this. It's built. Ready to fight. There we go. I've never actually gone to the end of the this island. Maybe there's something else over here. Move it, squad. Uh no, nothing. That's disappointing. Um, what else? I don't think you can upgrade them with the bar yet. Oh no, wait, you can. I'm gonna make sure to do that right away. Just because I think I stated it before, but you give riflemen bars, and they can rape most German light infantry really, really easily. Um, still not enough for tank depot, triage in there I don't really care about right now. Let's get some more NGs up. Let's get that machine gun moving forward. I usually just hang back and uh, just build a massive ass force and then just smash into the town, but... I don't know, for the sake of this let's play, I kind of don't just want to hang back here and do nothing. Probably just gonna slowly advance. Ready for Improvements to our HQ are finished. I'm gonna make sure to ca uh, capture all the points around the town before I take the point in the middle exactly, just because as soon as you do that, that's when the uh, counterattack starts, and it's pretty annoying. Get a move on, and I want to be able to set up my defense before the uh, Germans decide to hit me again. Still not enough fuel. Upgrading flamethrowers. Get going with me. Let's see if there's anything else I can blow away with the uh... Yeah, another thing. Nice. Hit it. Oh, I just Oh man, I love this thing. Brings a smile to my face anytime. Every time. Just love it. Uh, I can't really hit that. I think I can probably shell that with the mortar though, and if I can take it out... Oh, no way, I can actually hit it with the tank, that's awesome. I thought this was going to cover it. Oh, don't you run, you little bastard. Nice! Nice. Gotta level up on that tank too, that's sweet. Um, bars are good. I can build a tank depot, so I think I'll just grab that. While I'm doing that, I'll uh, start repairing the bridge. Don't think there's anything else that the Germans can hit me with right now. I'm just trying to check out the places that the Germans attack me from, just because I, I kind of remember this mission, but not that well. I know a lot of guys come down this road, and there's a lot of guys who come down this road. Not so sure about this one, though. I think the church is a probably a pretty good place for a sniper too. Uh, air recon, tempting. Kind of want paratroopers though. Ah, I'll probably get more points later on. So let's see what's over here. You have your smoke. Okay, well that did not work out as well as I planned. Hmm. 
Well, at least I found that there was an anti-tank uh, anti gun. Yeah, that's an anti-tank gun. No, anti-aircraft gun. It's right over there. Um, let's get some tanks out before I do anything. Not enough fuel. Damn. I guess I'll wait before I advance across to get another tank. Uh, and I might as well grab another rifleman squad. Just throw them over here. It's taking the engineers long enough to build the bridge anyway. I have some more munitions, so maybe Recon I'll just do this again. Let's see what's over here. Bridge repairs about halfway done. Keep on it, engineers. You got German squads, a lot of guys garrisoned in buildings. Mostly just weak infantry running around. Yeah, this will be easy. These guys are probably going to try and hop onto this gun as soon as I show up. Um, yeah, nothing else really. Rifle squad reporting for duty. I want some more resources, so no, I want a tank. The bridge is almost done. Ready Get everyone fight, ready sir. to storm the town. I'm really concerned about uh those little squad RC cars finished. of death that you saw. Uh, they come back constantly, and they're probably the most annoying part of this uh, this mission. Especially if they hit a tank or something like that, it usually kills the tank instantly. Or at least severely damages it. It'll be fun, they said. Uh, Bridge is repaired. Nah, I don't have ammunition. I'm not gonna advance up. quite yet. All right. I definitely want to take everything around it first, like this fuel point for sure. Engineer Corps! Shake a leg, people! Uh... There we go. Have enough for another tank. Sweet. Just because I want, I want a tank besides this one running along the front because I don't want this tank to die. In fact, I'm probably going to repair it even though it's just got a little bit of damage on it. Um, I really want to upgrade my resources. Just because having only two points obviously yeah. sucks. Ready for another beating? Yeah, there we on. go. Up to ladies. Hustle it, come on. Get this tank up. A flame Sherman might be a good option too, but it's a lot of fuel right now, so. It's Mosey, come on, I don't got all day. There we go. And ah, oh, don't have any conditions. Just give me a rifle, one round, and point me at Berlin. Uh, eighty. Ah, oh, still. A lot of upgrades cost fuel. That really sucks, but whatever. I don't need no stinking upgrades to kill Nazis. Okay, I'm gonna move this tank up first. Just kind of poke my nose in there, see what's in there. I'm gonna follow up with my uh, rifleman. Town Square. Looks like it's well defended. Holy shit, that's a nasty gun. And that, uh... Oh, holy. I'm losing a lot of guys. Might as well cap that fuel while I'm waiting. I'm gonna pull these guys back for a second. Basically just gonna use this tank as cover. Until I take out these uh, anti-tank guns. Uh, Anti-aircraft guns. I keep calling them anti-tank guns. Okay, there's one guy left in that group, so I'm gonna pull those two back. Gonna get these guys into this building. Hopefully that'll help them get covered a bit more. Ah, uh, fuck! Lost a lot of guys. Great, I just lost that whole unit. Okay, let's hope I have enough for a rocket strike. Because if I hit these guys right now, they're in a really bad position. Okay, come on. There we go. Perfect. Let's hit it. And 
that is why you don't group up your units. Oh yeah. <laughs> Burn. Yes, and I can afford paratroopers. Base improvements completed. Let's drop Our some paratroopers down drive. right here. Obviously, I like paratroopers better when I'm on the offensive, just because you can reinforce them without worrying about it. And they also have that anti-tank gun, which is nice. Well, the recoil is rifle. Nice, my mortar's helping me out too. Okay. Let's go take out that machine gun with the tank. And I'll just use those guys basically to hold a beachhead. Oh crap. Ah, I knew they were going to do something like that. And they just run back. That's a really good strategy, guys. Jump in, jump out. Uh, these guys over here. And more airborne right over here. 